Russian grouping in Kharkiv Oblast suffers over 90% losses in two-month offensive. Russian forces have deployed 10,350 troops for the offensive in the border areas of Kharkiv Oblast, which commenced two months ago. Army Inform news outlet reported this, citing Colonel Viktor Solimchuk, Deputy Commander of the Kharkiv Operational Tactical Group of Ukraine. The colonel reported that, as of early July, Russian losses included 2,939 soldiers killed in action and 6,509 wounded in action. Additionally, 45 Russian troops have been captured by Ukrainian forces. Therefore, the estimated enemy losses on our front are approximately 91%, Solimchuk said. The Russians have lost most of their 138th motorized rifle brigade in the war-torn city of Vovchansk, with their 83rd and 157th tank regiments suffering considerable losses. Russia's 83rd Air Assault Brigade is also constantly suffering losses, sometimes several dozen people a day, which is confirmed by both prisoners of war and radio intercepts, the Ukrainian military said. The Kharkiv Operational Tactical Group reported that, given the enormous losses, the Russian military command is compelled to withdraw units from other areas, deploy reserves, and engage the so-called volunteer orthodox communist fascist brigades. One of them is named after Alexander Nevsky, a key figure in medieval Russian history. At the same time, Ukraine's defense forces stressed that Russian troops still have a fairly serious offensive potential. They are regrouping, restoring their forces and logistics, and training assault groups in the rear. We recognize the strength of the Russian occupying forces and understand their intentions. Our soldiers, artillery and drones are making significant and tangible adjustments to the enemy's plans. All their attempts to ramp up their activities and expand their control zone are failing. We shall continue to crush the occupiers along the entire state border and the war zone disrupting their aggressive plans, Solimchuk said. The West is afraid to transfer F-16s due to regular Russian attacks on Ukrainian airfields. Russia is knocking out Ukrainian aircraft and military airfields. Against this backdrop, the West has decided to slow down the transfer of F-16 fighters. Western partners are slow in delivering F-16 military aircraft to Ukraine because Russia is demonstratively destroying Ukrainian aircraft along with airfield infrastructure. This was stated by former spokesman for the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Vladislav Zeleznev. According to him, the situation is aggravated by the lack of fortified hangars for aircraft at Ukrainian aerodromes. Why aren't all these structures built, especially since in some cases they don't require large financial investments, and some issues in terms of protection can be solved by using modular designs of protective hangars? However, this is not the case, which gives the Russians the opportunity to precisely destroy our very expensive and very valuable aircraft, he said. Zeleznev added that the Ukrainians are losing their MiGs and Su-16s in the hope that they will receive F-16s from their Western partners. The loss of airfields and aircraft may have been the reason for the delay in receiving the first batch of F-16s, Zeleznev believes. Russia has intensified the military pressure on Kyiv by stepping up airstrikes on its air bases. According to analysts, this pressure has been largely linked to Ukraine's imminent official reception of the first F-16 fighter jets, which Western countries have been promising to transfer to the country for many months. In the space of a few days, several large-scale strikes have hit Ukrainian bases, according to reports corroborated by both Russian and Western sources. First, at Mirhorod on July the 1st and 2nd in the Poltava region of central Ukraine and then at Dolgintsevo Air Base in the Dnipro region located 80 kilometers from the front lines, according to a July the 4th Russian Defense Ministry statement. Moscow claimed that at least six fighter jets had been destroyed. The Ukrainians have not denied these losses, although they have sought to downplay them. 